Hello everybody! I have truly chosen the wrong way to make this video because there's a literal hell outside. It's like scorching 28 degrees and even though my greatest fan of weather is trying to keep me cool, and I'm pretty sure there's a joke somewhere in that sentence, it's suffering for me. Anyhow, uh, the point of this video is uh, this, although you can probably conclude that from the title. Uh, this is my old drawing stand which I bought for insignificant amount of money. I didn't make it, although you can see this is pretty much homegrown kind of equipment. However, I have learned to make wheels on uh, this little thing. However, my expectations out of the drawing stand are now exceeding what uh, this particular thing can do, especially since I don't want to be faffing with the dish measurement, so I just want to make a wheel without uh, taking the wheel off the stand. I want to make a new one. And unfortunately, since I'm not normal, I'm not going to just, you know, buy something from Park Tool. I intend in this video to show you how I'm turning these two 6 foot, or 5 foot, or 1.5 meters of square piping, uh, made of steel, 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, 2 millimeter uh, wall thickness. How I'm going to turn this into a throwing stand that's going to make other throwing stands embarrassed about just thinking how cool this one is going to be. At least that's how I envision it's going to end. We'll see how much of a catastrophe this is going to turn out to be. Let's start. All right then, so here we are. This isn't really finished yet. This is just another stage in the production. You saw me as I cut uh, the tubing. You saw me as I created the welding jig. My welding is, well, it exists. And uh, as you can see, the parts here are being held together. Although I wouldn't call these welds structural, at least most of them, but you know, I'm just learning to do it. This is actually the third thing I have, I have ever welded. So as you can imagine, it's going to be pretty poor. Anyway, I just need to practice. Here's my old drawing stand. You can see that this is going to be a rather massive upgrade, pun intended. This is the new drawing stand. This is the left side, which I'm going to call law. This is the right side, which I'm going to call justice. Therefore, this is the law and justice drawing stand. Now this here is going to be the uh, the table on which the claw which is used to measure the wheel is going to be located. I haven't yet decided how to do it. It's a work in progress. Now, uh, this current stage of the production is creating holes which need to be in the same position over here. So, uh, this piece of tubing is going to be welded inside here. Not here, just inside. I need to uh, drill the hole. There's going to be another one on this side, and I'm going to use uh, these pretty long screws, which are going to get screwed over here. And this is actually a grab screw. There's a hex uh, hex wrench socket here, so I'm going to be able to uh, rotate the screw, which is going to go inside and out. And uh, this is going to create uh, the claw or uh, the vise. I don't know how to, how to uh, call this, which is going to hold uh, uh, the wheel by the axle. And obviously I want this to be very big and I want this to be very strong because I intend to be throwing wheels with tires on them. And this little thing unfortunately is too shallow for this. I think 26 inches with a small tire is going to fit, but 29er, not a chance. So, let's drill some holes.
Well, that was pretty underwhelming, wasn't it? As you might have noticed, there was more friction, less drilling than it would be preferable. And the main culprit here is uh, this Chinese drill bit, which I bought for insignific insignificant amount of money, hoping it would be, well, less horrible than it is. Unfortunately, it is horrible. However, since I am a pinnacle of human evolution, after all, I am a YouTuber, and I even say influencer, I have a trick up my sleeve, because you see, I kind of know that black tools are sharper than the yellow ones. So... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm done with tapping and I've spent two days trying to free a broken tap one of those legs. However, law and justice. And in order not to forget, I'm going to write it down. This. And this is... Right. Now, with my friend, Angle Grinder, I'm going to flatten the wells here and I don't want to hear any uh, comments about my welding because two weeks ago uh, was the first time I ever held the torch in my hand. Anyway, I'm going to uh, flatten the welds here in order to prepare for the welding of these cross members and uh, the main jig of the entire thing is going to be ready. And there you go, this is the finished product. You can see the comparison with my old chewing stand. And this thing is going to be massive. Now, what I also need to do now is to make some adapters in order, because in order to hold to a hub, I can't just use these, these grab screws, I need to uh, make an adapter that's going to go to insert, uh, that's going to go inside of the hub. And this is the design I have painstakingly, well, developed. Let's just let just say that it's going to be made out of this bar of aluminum. And essentially, it's just a well. You'll see what I'm going to machine. Splendor is found in success. Wisdom, however, is found in failure. And uh, this is the best example because I learned quite a few things trying to make this part. First of all, I drilled too deep, so I wasn't able to make uh, this hole uh, to be, well, good enough to screw a screw. So I'd make this nub for a QR, uh, QR adapter. However, I also planned to make this hole, and there's a hole on this, on each of these adapters. I wanted to thread this hole in, with an M16 thread, however my machine is too small to cut something like this. Well, it's kind of too small to cut any kind of thread, but it's not even good as a guide for the tap. And doing this by hand proved to be a rather, well, uh, it was an exercise in futility. I wasn't able to make the thread, so it would thread, uh, so it would screw on the grub, screw on the law and justice, in a way that wouldn't be crooked. Anyway, these two are an adapters for through axle. The base uh, size here of this knob is 10 millimeters for 10 millimeter through axle hubs. I've got one of these, and I know this is kind of a rare, uh, a rare size these days, but you know. I've got uh, I've got one so I need to support it in order to use uh, these for a 12 millimeter uh, through axle hub 
I need to use uh, this sleeve which is inserted here and uh, this one is definitely not my greatest creation but it does the job and I can use it for the sake of presentation which I'm going to do in a minute. Anyway, uh, this is an adapter for a QR hub which I also have a few. Uh, this part here enters into the axle, uh, this part here is for the grab screw and I think that's just about it. Uh, this is your normal run-of-the-mill everyday 12mm by 142 or 142 by 12mm through axle rear hub. In order to use my adapter, if this was 10mm hub I wouldn't be needing this step, however this is 12 so I need to insert the sleeve. Uh, the sleeve is good for 135, 142 and 148 millimeter hubs, possibly a super boost as well, so 157, but I haven't checked and I don't have a wheel in that size so obviously I'm not going to be checking. Anyway, we insert this here, we insert this one here, we go to the chewing stand and we just screw everything nice and tight. You can also note uh, the very important feature of the chewing stand. This is a 29er wheel, there we go, much better visible. This is 29er wheel and I can uh, insert this to the, to the drawing stand without taking off the tire. This is 2.2 inches and there's a ton, oh, let me show you, there's a ton of space here. So I could possibly even uh, use a, a plus size tire, so something like 3 inches and would possibly fit into the, into the stand. However, I don't know, I don't have a wheel, in that, wheel or tire in that size. Anyway. Uh, since the geometry of the stand is perfect, between uh, this part and this part, if the distance to the, uh, to the leg of the stand is the same from both sides, I know that my hub is centered on the, on the stand. So from this point, if I had some measuring, uh, measurement apparatus, I would be, I would be able to, to throw my wheel. Now let me show you how the uh, QR version of the adapter works, but it's kind of the same. This is a QR hub from my commuter. With this knob here we insert into the, into the axle. We do the same thing on the other side, like this, using my left hand. There you go. And there you go. As you can see, uh, the fit or the clearance of uh, 135 millimeters is kind of tight, so it might be a problem to use a 141 millimeter hub in the, this stand. It should fit, I think, and if it wouldn't, I still have five millimeters of material on both adapters, which I can shave off. So unless they come up with a super boost QR hub, then I think I'm good. All right, so where do I go from here? Because obviously I'm not done yet. For example, I don't have any measurement apparatus on the stand. So theoretically I can throw a wheel using zip ties or something like that, but that's going to be more awkward than I'm willing to accept. First of all, I still need to make the centering sleeve for 15 and 20 millimeter axle, which is going to work precisely like the 12 millimeter one. I haven't done so yet, but that's on the to-do list. Second thing is that I'm still not satisfied how rigid uh, the entire structure is so I'm going to try to remedy this so I'm either going to weld something on the legs of the stand and see how that's going to improve things or I'm going to fill the inside of the legs with either concrete or cement or some sort of uh, epoxy or some other resin that should make uh, everything much stiffer and obviously weight is not a concern here, it's actually a feature kind of. And obviously considering the design of the stand it's not suitable to use on the bolt-on hubs, although theoretically I could make an adapter for 10mm or 9mm bolt-on hubs, but 14mm uh, tandem or BMX hubs are no go. Obviously I wouldn't be able to make an adapter that would uh, make it possible to insert such a wheel into the stand and even though considering the design it might be pretty awkward trying to make 
a wheel that is different than 26 or 29 inch or something in that particular size range. So that's something to take into account. Obviously I'm not going to have this problem because I don't have any wheels in the size, although that might change, future plans. But obviously there are certain trade-offs which I need to make in order to make something which is going to be useful for me. Anyway, I think I'm going to be finishing this part of however many parts this is going to take because I still haven't finalized the design for the measurement apparatus. I have an idea how, to, how I want to make this. But I'm still not convinced entirely whether this is a good idea or not and there are some details which I need to well, work out. Anyway, I'm going to finish this video. I hope you were entertained and well, see you in the next one.